I'm a web designer. Uh, my name is James. I live in LA. My name is Bob, and I'm a uh... I really don't have a profession. I just sleep on some web designer's couch. Usually in the morning, uh, the way I handle things is, is I don't get up. I just sleep till I feel like getting up because I really don't care. When I'm able to, to sleep according to my natural rhythm, usually I don't, I would not get to sleep. I, w I would get tired enough to fall asleep around three or four in the morning. And then uh, I'd wake up sometime, uh, sometime just before noon, maybe a little bit after, but around there. To wake up on my own, it takes approximately three hours. I have to spend most of it sitting in front of a video game or on Second Life, checking my messages, just doing pretty much nothing to stimulate my mind except staring at a screen because it's just the only thing that seems to work. And since I can never get to sleep before like three or four anyway, no matter how hard I try. Just this portion of my day is a challenge. I usually never wake up before like noon anyway, so I'm just in a stupor all day, like a zombie at the desk. I have to be pretty much drug out of bed so that somebody else can wake me up. It takes like three people, but I don't really care about that either. Man, I've, I've lost friends because of it. They don't realize that for the first three seconds after waking up, you're legally insane. When I have to get up before I'm ready, though, it's, uh, it literally takes an act of God. If you know someone with DSPS, please work with them. Understand that it's not their fault. My name is Tustin Griffiths. I go to school in Santa Monica, which is about two and a half hours away from Victorville, where I live currently. I have Monday from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 or 9 o'clock p.m. So it's a pretty long day. But as far as school goes, I get there. I leave at about 5 or 4.45 or so. It takes about two and a half hours on a good day to get there. So we usually get there around 7. Uh, I have been to a doctor once or twice before. Well, I've been to two doctors about this, actually. One actually misdiagnosed me for insomnia, and then I, I went and I got a second opinion afterwards, and then the other doctor diagnosed me with a syndrome called DSPS. The doctor gave me, like, some pills to try to, like, you know, make me fall asleep faster, sooner, lose energy, an act to deprive the body of any kind of positive feedback. It ended up just basically making me exhausted, and it, it didn't just... It didn't make me fall asleep, it's just same thing, it just basically made me more drowsy. And I just kind of stopped off the pills because it was making me sick. Trying to get up from positioning and sleeping in, a, in, a, in your bed to standing up straight and erect and trying to walk like a normal person, it feels like you're being weighted down by heavy clothes, wet clothes. It feels really, really hard. You can't even raise your hands to scratch your forehead very easily. Just, a, just imagine basically waking up in a pool and trying to routine yourself while you're submerged. It's, it's just resistful. It's, it's just, it's hard. It really is sometimes. As a result of having DSPS, I have lost numerous jobs. I ended up falling asleep during breaks. I couldn't get up to go to work on time. I would be late all the time. And every time, every job I've ever had, I just, I couldn't function. I couldn't, I couldn't work to the full capacity that I was able to, to be able to do my job right. So I would end up just getting fired and I have no social life whatsoever because I can't get myself up in the day hours when other people are awake. No friends can see me because I'm always asleep. And it's just hard. I don't, 
I feel like I don't have a life because of this and it, it's not my fault, I can't help it. Having this disease is probably the worst thing that I've ever gone through in my life. Why can't I just do what I want? I, I need stuff to do, you know? And I just, I feel, I feel so alone because nobody understands the disease. And they just think I want to sleep and that's not the case. I just, I want to be normal. I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. It's so hard to have to go through. <laughs>